Hey guys, today is Monday, November the 6th of 2023, and I want to go over energy, the dollar, and metals without any further delay. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with our uranium futures, UX2. As you can see, we broke above 7330, uh, pushed as high as 74 or 66. It looks like it now it's kind of pulling back a little bit. May want to test 7330 to see if it finds that support in this area, and maybe even push higher. To my target of 77 so far let's see it november as you know is the uh, seven year cycle so let's see how price action is going to behave within november and then uh, take it from there let's go into coal as you can see coal now is dipping down it's kind of finding support here in this area right here of like uh 123 124 right now it's at 125 uh, and I thought I was going to probably test at least at 149, but it's pulling back in. So let's see if it's going to push lower and maybe even test this low right here of 93. The market that I'm watching uh, is the meat uh, meats futures uh, and it's uh, live cattle. I wanted to see if this is going to be a nice little retracement, something like that, or maybe even bigger. Uh, so far, feeder cattle has done it. Uh, but I think uh, live cattle is very overextended. I mean, we had a little correction here. Uh, what is it? One, maybe like four months right here. Three or four months. And then it retraced. So maybe a little something like this uh, would be nice. Uh, but I'm waiting for some weakness. So far, we haven't taken out this level right here. Let's go to our... What, our norm, what we normally cover here is uh, crude oil. As you can see, we've pushed lower uh, PPS silk, sales signal right here. Uh, and, you know, everything is kind of negative on the weekly. And on the daily, we're just kind of chopping around here with this daily signal uh, and some snapbacks right here. But so far, nothing positive. We need at least to close above 37.5% uh, level, which is 84 bucks at least to get a shooting to, uh, you know uh, uh, a shooting chance to get at least to 89 you know probabilities to go at least there and test this high but so far it's below this level so i would just wait for that to start cooking but it's kind of giving you clues that maybe it may want to bounce and you know with the stuff in the war and in, in the middle east who knows our Bob is in a range from 237 to 215, and it's just kind of chopping in between those two. One of those two have to break, and so far it's at the bottom, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does a nice little bounce here, or sideways, or maybe pushes lower, but very oversold that it would probably make more sense on the little bounce and at least test this uh, 250 area, and if it fails, maybe push even lower. You can see it on the daily too. It's kind of very quiet right at the zero line on the MACD. And things are looking like it wants to wake up. But that green line is below the uh, 20. So you got to be cautious. Uh, natural gas. Natural gas. I don't even know where to start. This MACD on the weekly is so choppy on the top. That I'm just waiting for it to just go like this. And give us another weekly low like that. So we could get another leg higher. We know December is uh, uh, the daily cycle bottoms out. And it's just choppy here. I mean, if you even take this, uh, the studies off, uh, look at the gap here, gap here. And now we got a gap from the top. We got three gaps. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? But yeah, natural gas is just the uh, animal here that now i got a pps cell signal the daily is negative uh this is kind of weird yeah there we go we got a macd negative stokes a negative um could test at least you know three three dollars could even fill all these gaps which would be nice into december and then maybe do another leg higher but so far kind of very choppy here looks like it wants to break out but then it kind of pulls back and then you got all these gaps here. Heating oil in a range to 283 all the way to 350. You know, chopping around this trend line. MACD is negative. Stokes are negative. Soaps are negative. And you can see 
that it could may want to test this uh, 283 right here. Uh, although the MACD crossover is positive, it hasn't gone above the zero line. So just kind of waiting, you know, it's just in chop fest. It's like little fractal swings here. Uh, but more on the uh, weaker side, just because of the trend, the mobile bands are negative. And you got two PPSL signals, so nothing positive here, only this MACD crossover. Same thing with uh, natural gas, kind of, you know, on the, on the positive side, trending. Um, but in regards to geometry, hasn't closed above the uh, 45 degree. So those are the things you got to keep in mind. Let's go uh, to uh, gold. Uh, same thing in a range of 2019 high, just kind of top, you know, chopping around on a topper on the top uh, end of this range, just kind of hovering there. The dollar's getting weak. I'm surprised we didn't get like an explosion or push higher to at least take 2019 out when that dollar dipped. Uh, and look at the MACD is kind of getting toppy here. And just kind of sideways, just consolidating, just a lot of sideways action. Doesn't want to go up, but doesn't want to go down. It's between that 1978 and 2019, just kind of going sideways. So the MACD, as you can see, is just kind of getting a little weaker here. So you just got to wait for it to uh, show us what it wants to do. But so far, it's just kind of going sideways. Silver, same thing. You got all these trend lines up here, and it's kind of on the weekly just chopping sideways. You know, looks like it, it tried to do it here on the uh, October 30th and then fail sideways. It looks like it may want to do it again. You got that trend line that failed there, failed there, failed there. So if it's going to go up here, 23.69, if it fails there, we're going to be back to the same boat. Sideways price action. Now, copper is interesting. You got a PPS buy signal, but you need to close a little bit above 373 to get to Momo and deal with this trend line. But the MACD is positive. You got to be careful because this could be a snap, although the green line is waking up. It could be a snapback, but we'll see. But tells me that the uh, daily is very strong. So you got this range here between 371. And 351, and you got this, you know, you, well, you got the PPS buy signal from uh, October the 24th, and you got this nice little trend up here. Uh, and you can see there's a pivot here. Uh, and then you got that pivot here. So we got to see if we could close above 371. If it could close above there, and there's not a, you know, a dead cat bounce, I'm sure it's going to test this trend line. Uh, palladium, one that I'm watching also, the low is still 1088 and just kind of going sideways. Same thing here, range from 1168 all the way to 1088. And it's just, just going sideways. Nothing really, I'm sure the squeeze plays are really tight on both of these, uh, time frames. Uh, platinum. Looking positive, way better than uh, Palladium. You got a PPS buy signal on the weekly, and it's here. It could retrace, or it could continue. So if it continues, target will be that uh, 99.7. So this one you want to keep an eye on, since it's probably moving. It has more movement compared to Platinum. And you can see it on the daily. It's in this range now, between 9.51 and 9.19. Let's look at the dollar. King dollar, and this is what has happened last week. We cracked that 105.88, we cracked this uh, 105.53, and even the 105.36. So I went ahead and put a GAN fan from here. You can see that this was trend line. This is the uh, 0 0.25, and it failed here and it just kind of went sideways and then from here cracked. So you got this 50% angle right here and it already cracked that. You got one coming from the uh, that high of 114. You got this 50% here and then there's uh, 104 midpoint yearly 50% uh, that's somewhere around here. So there's a lot of support here, although this one on the fractal level, it's failed as of now. So let's see if this week, if we could try to regain that and climb back above and regain all this these losses 
I know the weekly cycles are down and the dailies peak somewhere around December, uh, if I'm right. Let me see. And I need to look back. Yep. 12.3. That may have changed because I haven't updated this. But from the last time I saw the cycle, and you can see I have a, still a target of 98. Um, so we'll keep an eye on the dollar. But so far, it's on the weaker side. And it doesn't surprise me that we didn't take out that 2019. And the Palladium moved. These guys right here are kind of a little slow. Let's look at, we're going to focus now on the dollar a little more, just on key levels. As you can see, the dollar's in the cloud. So when you're in the cloud, its volatility is a little more crazier. Linear regressions channel's pointing up. So you're smack in the middle. You're battling the 20, trying to hold that as support on the monthly. You got some good support there. MACD is positive on the monthly. However, on the weekly is negative as of October 23rd. You got a TD9 uh, that uh, indicated right here on the uh, October 2nd, the week of October 2nd. PPS sell signal kicked in here. And uh, if it's going to continue pushing lower, you got the point of control, which is 103. This is a good area, and also this is a good area. If it's going to be a, I mean, if this happens to go down here, uh, you can imagine gold and silver hopefully moving higher. But we're at at the midpoint, so I don't know if it's going to go and bounce up here and then continue, or just kind of go down or sideways. On the daily, you're back in the cloud again, and the uh, MACDs are negative, so very. Uh, very oversold, and you can see that we broke through the linear regression channel, which is at 105.17. So I'm sure bottom feeders are going to see that, and the algos are going to pick up on that and uh, push it back in, you know, balance things out. But so far, it failed the 20 and the 50. Got the 100 SMA, the 200 right here, and you fail the value area high, which is 105.87. Point of control is 103. Three. So let's look at our midpoint chart, and I think I'll end it there. So on the yearly, this is the line in the sand. I mean, there's a couple of lines in the sand, but this one, if you study the midpoint chart from MSJ, these are the things you'll look at. Uh, that's important. That's 104.70-ish around there. We already failed it on the uh, monthly, as you can see it from that $99. You can see the midpoints going up. And now, and we never took them out. We just kept stair stepping up, but some some something from here has changed. Then now we're below it, which is that one hundred six thirty five. On the weekly, we are already below it, of one hundred six eleven, and on the daily, you got one hundred five fifty eight. We just kind of quietly going down here, so I'm not going to focus on the daily. My uh, focus is on this one hundred four, but very important one hundred four seventy. As you can see it, this midpoint showed that it was respectable. You got this high here on 529 um, that week, and it failed. I want to see if this is going to hold. If this is going to hold, it's going to go back and retest, possibly re retest this high of 107. And if it takes it out, it's going to go on the hunt for 114 and test that high to see if there's going to be strong bulls wanted to push it down from up there so we'll see how that's going to play out i'm going to sign out hopefully you like this video and i'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the dollar the energy and the metal sector